In this equation, we have KNO3 plus H2SO4. That's potassium nitrate plus sulfuric acid. So when we balance them, we're going to use a bit of a trick. And you can use this on any equation where you have something like NO3 here. And then you have another polyatomic NO3 here. Or the SO4 here and the SO4 here. That makes this really easy to balance. So let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one potassium. And then NO3, that's the nitrate ion. We have one of those. Hydrogen. We have two, and then this SO4, since we have one here and we have a SO4 here, we can just say we have one SO4. Over on the product side, we have one potassium nitrate, that NO3, we have one of those. Hydrogens, and be careful here, we have one hydrogen here, plus we have the one hydrogen here. So that gives us two hydrogens, and then SO4, the sulfate group, we only have one. If you look at the numbers on each side of the equation, you'll see that they're the same and that this equation's already balanced. So whenever you're dealing with this double displacement type reaction, if you have an NO3 here and an NO3 here, rather than counting up all these separate oxygens, just consider this one thing. That'll make the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KNO3 plus H2SO4, and thanks for watching.